So welcome back to Third Rate Content. Today, we're once again in the heart of Shrewsbury and we're gonna be having a, a good walk around the town centre of Shrewsbury and we're gonna be having a look at some of the retail action and having a, a nice walk through on a lovely early spring day on today, uh, February the 24th, Shropshire Day. So buckle up and I'll see you out here. Yeah, so Shrewsbury Station, once again, designed by T.M. Penson, Thomas Mannering Penson. And he was the architect of a couple of stations we've featured recently on Third Rate Content, both Bastchurch Closed Railway Station and Gaboan Train Station, which we haven't actually released the video on yet, so I don't know which will be coming first. But anyway, yeah, so he's done quite a bit in this county of Shropshire built in 1848. The Shrewsbury Station was expanded between the years 1899 and 1903. And as you can see just here, the whole ground floor was added by digging down and, ex and basically putting another platform. So uh, originally the station would have been here, the ground floor would have been here and then the extensive work was carried out and took it down to here. So the whole of this area has been lowered quite a bit. And right behind me, you can see the castle behind me, but this area is known as Castle Gates. And this would have been the gatehouse for the town walls, which actually started here and extended down towards what is now Smithfield Road behind me and this is the floodplain of Shrewsbury and that's why you do hear one of the reasons why you do hear of Shrewsbury being flooded quite a lot we've covered it quite a few times on this channel so feel free to check out any of the videos yeah there has actually been Recently by DC Comics, a Batman anniversary um, is being released or has been released. Yeah, several buildings in Shrewsbury, including um, former Shelton Mental Asylum, which we have featured a bit on this channel, have been immortalised in ink. And um, in a black and white comic, you can see several Shrewsbury locations. But a building that wasn't featured, that I have always said before, um, Batman came to Shrewsbury, should have been in, uh, in um, Gotham, is this building behind me. Absolutely stunning looking building, um, but I don't think it is in the upcoming Batman, so they bit, missed him a bit of an opportunity in my opinion there. Yeah, build shops here, all taken. We've got Al Piccolino's Pizza, Station Mini Market, Bread and Loaf, Insurance, so on. Up Castle Gates, everything looking really Nice so far. Yeah, just here on Castle Gates. Just bring this to your attention on the other side of the road. Um, I don't know if it's absolutely true, but I'll tell you what I've been told. Yeah. If you can see that lintel, just in the actual brick wall here on Castle Gates, it actually goes underneath Castle Gardens just above it but you, someone told me that was a bomb shelter at some point it's all been bricked in now but you can still see the lintel so definitely something there Yeah, that whole area of Shrewsbury, where Doan Oil is and all around there, just behind us, has massively improved since we covered this area. First, 
on the retail carnage videos that preceded today's Shrewsbury February 2024 video. But definitely things are moving in the right direction in my opinion. at the top of Pride Hill. I think we'll take a walk down Pride Hill now. Yeah, that mock Tudor mansion. The 15th century grocers, the Pride family. Who Pride Hill takes its name from. They were eminent retailers and grocers in their heyday. Obviously that building is now WH Smith's. Row. Very historic street down there. We'll continue our walk down Pride Hill though. Of course, uh, Shrewsbury Market won for the second year consecutive, consecutively um, British Market of the Year, which I think winning it two times in a row is quite unprecedented. It's either unprecedented or it's not, but it's up there. Should we go have a quick look? Nice to see the exchange occupied there in the corner of uh, Bellstone. Yeah, I think the Loopy Shrew is in the Batman comic that I was talking about. The comic is called The Batman First Night and it releases in so at some point in 2024 and it's got a 1930s kind of film noir feel about it or look to it, shall I say. Yeah, I'm not sure how much the Loopy Shrew is in it. I just read it in the news article concerning it. But my building wasn't included, as far as I know. I might find out different. Anyway, I'm not that bothered. Yeah, that, that particular shop, what was the town fire, has been standing empty for some years. I did a video about three years ago, two or three years ago, hoping it, it was gonna fill, but it still hasn't. Perhaps something will happen by the time we do our next walk through Shrewsbury. 
Yeah, because this video is replacing the Retail Carnage series that we ran for a few years. Started to change the name, <clears throat> change the format slightly. Because um, I think the name was a little bit <clears throat> negative. I think I might have said that before. But anyway, we've changed it now. So there we go, just having a walk around Shrewsbury. Late February 2024, and we're at Dame Marvel at the moment. Yeah, it is really <clears throat> starting to feel spring-like today on, as I said, 24th of February, 2024. <clears throat> I mean, it's only a couple of weeks till middle of March, three weeks maybe. But <clears throat> I say by that time, we are definitely in spring, but, but it's giving us an early blast today. And I did notice all oh, the daffodils have started to come out now and other spring flowers everything's looking really nice especially in the sunshine like today it's absolutely beautiful yeah this is one seriously old post box Yeah, it's nice to see this building taken at last. It was the Edinburgh Wool Mill on our first re retail carnage video back when we were doing that series. But it is, it's occupied now. Brilliant success. It's not like I'm let, letting out the buildings though, which means a success for Shrewsbury. And isn't this town looking absolutely beautiful and wonderful today and splendiferous? House of Fraser still empty and unoccupied. Thornton, the uh, Piston People place. Oh, reading in the years there, still calling it that, but it has been empty since again, since we started the Shrewsbury Retail Carnage videos some three years ago. But the rest of the town is looking, as I said before, looking great. And apparently that hotel needs millions and millions of pounds spending on it to bring it back up to scratch. Not just from its recent use, preceding that as well. A little bit out of breath here going up Prydale, Wild Cop, should I say. But yeah, so uh, it won't be opening this hotel again, I don't think. There is talk of it being turned into dwellings. But our chances of getting to have a look at, a look at it about the Nags Head, uh, you know, Nags Head mysteries not looking too great at the moment but you never know fingers crossed just going up the side of St Auckman's Church behind Fish Street. 
and then Grope Lane down there, back onto High Street. Let's go. Anyway, so thank you for watching today's third rate content. Our little blip around Shrewsbury Town Centre on February the 24th, Shropshire Day, no less. Uh, 20, February the 24th, 2024. It's been a really beautiful day. But this garden's still shut, sadly. When it opens again, I'll take you for a walk around there been shot for years now i think there's various social problems that go on in the shrewsbury town center and i think that's one of the reasons that garden is shut but anyway it's been a great walk round, and we'll do it again in six months see how things looking it's at the end of summer but so far for today it's been wonderful as i said spend spendiflous and magnifique <laughs> lol but if I don't see you soon, I'll see you three times soon. Uh, so third rate content, sign out. Bye bye.